Marvelous, that's a wrap for this shot. Great time, great work, lady. Great modeling you did out there with Senna. You guys were great. Your modeling of Indian belly dancers from India was adequate. Thanks, Coons. Hey, Leah, when are going to be free tonight? Let's go on a date together, huh? What you say? I'll take you any place you want to go. Ah, he's at it again. What's wrong, Leah? I just got multiple text message from Nathan. Nathan? Who Nathan? He's my boyfriend, John's brother. His brother? Yeah, you haven't met him before, but he used to fat shame me since childhood. But suddenly Nathan changed his attitude once I became slim. He began to harass me and kept asking me out on a date, which I completely reject. Oh wow, you don't say. He must be persistent over you. He is, on top of that. He'd been stalking me lately and kept leaving gifts on my door of my apartment. And of course I threw them out because he's trying to get me to like him. No matter how many times I must tell Nathan that I'm dating with John. But he just won't leave me alone. Whoa, that's creepy. He's stalking me lately. That's terrible. You should report him to the police. That asshole knows that stalking is illegal. I was thinking that, but I need to gather more evidences of him stalking me to show it to the police. Oh yeah, you may have a point. But I swear if he keeps on stalking me again, then I'll report him to police for stalking. Okay, Leah, if you say so. Hey, Leah. Oh god, it's him again. Senna, please wait in the car. It won't take me long. Hey, Leah. You look lovely today. What you want, Nathan? Oh, nothing. I just came here to say hello. It all you have to say? If so, I'll be going now. So, bye. Wait, wait. Hold on. I wanted to ask you something. What? When are you going to be free? I wanted to take you out for dinner. I know five-star Italian restaurant. Do you want to go out with me sometimes? Sorry. I got plans this weekend. So, I'll pass. I have to take my friend home now, so bye. He did it again. He always asks me that same question over and over again. It really irritates me. I'm not interested in him. I'm only interested John. Sorry you have to see that Senna. I left you some gifts. I hope like you them. Love Nathan. Don't forget our plans that we discussed the other day ago for the anniversary party for mom and dad tomorrow. I got it sis, I already set up a reservation to a nice restaurant for tomorrow night for them. Great, I just made them a cake, but I also got them holiday tickets to Hawaii since they always wanted to go there. That's great, I'll meet you at their house by 3.30. Okay Jonathan, see YA then tomorrow, bye. Bye. I wonder who texting me. Come take a look outside. Ah, uh, what now? Gosh, he's so annoying. Are you done setting up the banner, bro? Yeah, the banner is all set. How are you doing setting up the sparkler on the cake? It's all light up. We're ready to surprise mom and dad, they should be home any minute. But um, where's Gordon? He's probably at his room. Ha, huh, he still lives here. Yeah, apparently the company that Gordon worked at gone bankrupt. He tried to find new company to work at but he's been rejected from every company that he been interview. Afterwards, he became a shut-in. Oh wow, I didn't know about this. Did Gordon find a new job? No, he wasn't even trying to find a job. Gordon asked mom and dad to lend him money for stuff, but it turned out that he used the money for gambling, I know that from start cause I once saw him at a casino gambling while I was driving home. He gambles, did mom and dad knows about this? No they haven't, but they started to feel suspicious on Gordon since he been asking them for money often, I tried to convince him to get a job and stop leeching off of mom and dad, but he never listen and do want every he wants. Are you for real, what a bum he is? Did I just hear Fatty Pig's sister voice? Speaking the bum. Leah, long time no seen. How are you Fat Pig? Whoa, who are you? It's me Gordon, Leah. 
What? No way. It can't be. How can fat pig like you became slim? How you end up like this? Did you have plastic surgery or something? Your watermelons are huge. Keep your hands to yourself, you pervert. I didn't have plastic surgery. I went on a strict diet and been working out in the gym off them. Also, have you forgotten today is mom and dad's anniversary? Huh, it's today. I totally forgot. On top of that, quit being shut in and get a job like a normal human being. You're causing mom and dad trouble of you leeching off them to gamble at a casino. What the hell bro, you told her that. Well that's the truth bro, don't complain about it. Anyways that's none of business what I do, I've been through a lot since the company that I work at gone bankrupt, no other companies won't hired me so I gave up job hunting, what a to you fat pig. So you're going to keep being a shot in and keep leeching off of mom and dad, you're pathetic. I have to agree with her. What did you say? They're here, get ready guys. Surprise! Surprise. Oh my god, you guys, you did all this. Actually, Jonathan and I did all this. We planned this party to celebrate you guys' wedding anniversary. I made you guys a cake. What everything Leah said is true. We planned this party just for you guys. Do you guys like it? We love it. Thank you guys very much for a wonderful surprise. You're welcome. Happy anniversary. There's one more surprise for you both. And what is it? I just made a reservation to a nice restaurant. Really? That's very thoughtful of you, Jonathan. I agree. And you both don't have to pay. It's on me. Same here. I just got my huge bonus yesterday at my job, so I'll treat you both too. Oh, okay. Thank you both. This is going to be the best anniversary we have ever had. We're eating out tonight. Oh yeah, I can't to eat the fancy food. What are you getting excited about, Jordan? Jonathan and I aren't treating you. We're only treating mom and dad for their anniversary. Leah right. It's mom and dad's special day so we're treating them to a nice meal tonight. What? Are you serious? Would it kill you to bring me some takeouts? If you want to go, pay for your own meals. Fine. Mom, Dad, can you lend me some money? Gordon, you did it again. You can't keep asking them money. Yeah, man. Leah and Jonathan have a point, Gordon. Me and your father have been lending you money for the past 10 months. We are starting to hide doubts that you're not finding a job. Well, um, I'll find a job soon. That what you always said every time we bring up the subject. But you always kept being in your room watching TV and go out late at night at a bar instead of job hunting. Me and your mother decided we're not going to lend you any money. We want you to take this opportunity to get a job. I'll be in my room. Anyways, I set the reservation time at 6.30, so you both have enough time to get ready. Oh, okay. Seems like mom and dad enjoying their romantic time together on their anniversary. I agree. It's good thing you picked this place bro, it's one of the most popular 5 stars restaurant in town. Well a colleague of mine told me about this place, he said they serve the best steaks, so I took the time and set up a reservation for them. Oh, I see. Here's your dessert madam. Huh, but, I didn't order any dessert. Oh, the person ordered this and told me to give it to you. Oh how thoughtful, I wonder who the person who ordered this for me. Sorry, but I can't accept this. Take it back. All right. He did it again. What's wrong, Leah? Why didn't you accept the dessert that the person gave you? Cause I don't want it. It's from Nathan. Nathan. You remember Nathan, my childhood friend John older brother. Oh right, I remember. He used to call you fat pig along with Gordon. Nathan sudden changed his attitude once I became slim. He kept on pressuring me of being his girlfriend while I'm still dating with John. I completely rejected him. Now he's been stalking everywhere I go which really creeps me out. Oh wow, I'm quite shocked that you were being stalked. I feel bad for you sis. Yeah, does he ever stop? You're so cute. You want to go on a date with me sometime? I'll be a better boyfriend than my dull brother. I'll take you every place you want to go. After all I'm loaded. I love you Leah. I'll never let you go. Ah, uh, shut up already. You're driving me crazy for fuck's sake. Leave me alone, goddammit. Leah, are you alright? You seem pale. I'm fine. I haven't slept last night. You didn't sleep? Did you have insomnia? No, I don't. Then what caused you to not get any sleep? Well, um, it's quite complicated. You can tell. I'm your boyfriend. 
Just say it. What's on your mind? Well, okay. It's about your brother Nathan. Nathan? What about him? He has been running into me ever since the New Year's party. What? He been running into lately? Yeah, Nathan been following me around. He even leaves me gifts on my door of my apartment. He waits for me to come out once my shift is off to ask me out on a date, which I reject. He's basically been stalking everywhere I go. I was too traumatized to sleep. I can't rest easy cause me to stress out. I mean, I know he's your brother, but he's such a pain in the ass. What the hell? He been stalking my girlfriend, that bastard. I'm sorry about my asshole brother. Nathan been acting weird lately ever since the New Year's party. But I never knew he was stalking you lately. If I knew he did that, I should have been there to stop him. You don't have to apologize, John. It's not your fault. But still, I can't focus on my work and I'm too scared to go back home cause he might be waiting for me come back. I feel sorry for you what you have been through. Which reminds me, I've been meaning to ask you, which is going to solve your stalker problem. Really? What is it? The thing I was going to ask you is... Oh, I can't wait to surprise Leah when she gets home. I easily break into her apartment with copy of her key. But, she a bit late thought. I wonder what's keeping her so long. I better call her to see where she's at. Hello. Yo, Leah. It me, Nathan. Ah, uh, what you want now, Nathan? Oh, nothing. I just calling to let you know that in your apartment. What? You break into my apartment? Yeah, I'm sitting here in your living room waiting for you to come home. So when are you coming back? Um, I won't be coming back. Cause I moved out. Say what now? I said don't live in that apartment anymore. I moved out. You're not coming back here, since when you moved out? A few days ago. So this means, I sitting here waiting for you to come for nothing. Yeah, I guess you could say that. What the hell? I been sitting here in the couch for two hours and all of a sudden you moved out. You got to be kidding me. Where are you now? That's none of your business. You really think I'm going to tell you after all you've been stalking me lately? Not a chance. I want to far away from you. Huh? What are you talking about? You always kept following me around everywhere I go. That's called stalking. You completely freak me out. I have enough of you following me around. And just for the record, I'm not interested in you. I'm not interested in anyone except for John. Well, um, I... Also, I file a restraining order against you. What? You file restraining order against me? That's right. Since you won't stop stalking me, I hire a lawyer to file a restraining order against you. Your parents already agree with my decision and they both apologize to me. If you don't want to get involved with the police, don't ever come near me ever again you hear me. Oh, and one more thing. You should probably get out of there before you get arrested for breaking into someone else's apartment. So goodbye. Wait, hold on, Leah, hello. What the? Who are you? Oh, um, hi, it's not what it looks like. Get out my apartment, I'm calling the police, get out. Oh shit, I need to get out of here. Did you feel any better after you move out of your apartment? Yeah, I feel much better after I move into your place. And also thanks for hire a good lawyer to help me file a restraining order against Nathan. No problem, that way my asshole brother won't bother anymore. What I heard from Nathan that he break into my old apartment that the person already living in. So you probably got arrested for trespassing. Well he did this to himself, it's his own fault. I hope I never seen him again. I hope so too, let enjoy spending our short holiday together in Kirby. Yeah, let's do it. 